Hello, my name is Daisy Price, and I'm a member of the Educational Outreach Team at the Hudson Alpha Institute for Biotechnology. Today, we're going to be doing Science in Your Home. The activity that we're going to be working on is how you are able to use enzymes in a household setting. Enzymes are what we call in the biotechnology community, the workhorses. Enzymes have the ability to be able to break down or build up substances. Enzymes are extremely important. We like to say is our catchphrase, enzymes rule the world. Without an enzymes, a lot of things wouldn't get done. The research that goes on here at Hudson Alpha often uses enzymes in the laboratory. Today, we're gonna to see how we can use it in a household setting. So first, we're gonna start with some simple applesauce. Yes, this is applesauce that can be purchased in the local grocery store. We have some spoons, and I'm gonna use about two spoonfuls of applesauce into each of my beaker. Now in your home, you probably won't have a beaker, so a plastic cup will suffice to be able to use. In my beaker, because I can use it to measure, I'll put about 20 milliliters of applesauce into the beaker. Now that I have the applesauce in the beaker, our goal here is to make apple juice out of this applesauce. How are we going to do that? This is where enzymes come in. So the enzymes that we're going to be using today are cellulase enzyme, protease enzyme, and pectinase enzyme. These enzymes are found readily here in our laboratories at Hudson Alpha. You can also find these enzymes in your home. The enzyme protease comes from meat tenderizer. It is what allows us to have meat that has been tenderized or softened. You can find cellulase in your local earth fair store or any type of health food store. Cellulases are involved in being able to break down cellulose or the components of a cell wall. Pectinase is an enzyme that you can readily find in a local wine making store. Protease is an enzyme that we find in meat tenderizer. So you'll take the meat tenderizer, put a certain amount, you don't have to measure it out, and then you wanna use an equal amount of water. Make sure that the solid is dissolved into the liquid, and you do this by shaking up. So the micropipette that we're going to be using measures small volumes for us. In this particular activity, we're gonna be measuring 800 microliters. You probably don't have a micro pipette in your home, but you do have a measuring cup, which measures milliliters and ounces as well. So 800 microliters is equivalent to 80 milliliters. So I'm adding 800 microliters of enzyme into my applesauce. So with my enzymes, I have to make sure that I change the tip each time I use an enzyme just so that I can allow it to remain uncontaminated. Once I add the enzyme, I wanna stir it up. Get it mixed in really, really well to make sure that the enzyme gets all the way through the applesauce. Now, how am I gonna go about making the apple juice? If my enzyme actually works, then I will be able to get a liquid product, apple juice, from this enzyme being able to break down the applesauce. So how do, I, how do I do this? I need to create a filtration device. So I have a graduated cylinder and a foam. Now you probably don't have a graduated cylinder in your house, but again, if you have a cup or a water bottle or something that can catch the liquid, that's all you need. And you can use a regular funnel that you find in your local Walmart if you don't have one in your kitchen. So you wanna place the funnel into your graduated cylinder and you're gonna to need to filter the solid from the liquid. So I'm using regular filter paper, which I have readily available in my lab. You probably don't have this, but guess what? You have coffee filters that do exactly the same thing. So you wanna place your coffee filter or your filter into your funnel and create a little cup that looks like this. So now that you have your funnel, you wanna take all of your enzyme apple sauce mixture and you wanna pour this into your beaker. Now this is probably gonna need the assistance of additional hands to help you get this in here. And if the enzyme does its job, then we'll get a great fancy product that looks like this. 
and we have the ability to measure the amount of apple juice that's come from the applesauce by looking at the graduations on this cylinder. This is really quick, it's really easy, and it's fun. And you're doing the same type of science that goes on in the laboratories here of Hudson Alpha.